I want to say a few words about uh, the situation in Syria. Uh, as you've seen, uh, today we've released our unclassified assessment uh, detailing with high confidence that the Syrian regime carried out a chemical weapons attack that killed uh, well over a thousand people, including hundreds of children. Uh, this follows the horrific images that shocked us all. This kind of attack is a challenge to the world. We cannot accept a world where women and children and innocent civilians are gassed on a terrible scale. This kind of attack threatens our national security interests by violating well-established international norms against the use of chemical weapons, by further threatening friends and allies of ours in the region, like Israel and Turkey, and Jordan, uh, and it increases the risk that chemical weapons uh, will be used in the future and fall into the hands of terrorists who might use them against us. Uh, so uh, I have said before, uh, and I meant what I said, that uh, the world has an obligation to make sure that we maintain the norm against the use of chemical weapons. Now, I have not made a final decision uh, about various actions that might be taken to help enforce that norm. Uh, but uh, as I've already said, uh, I have had my military uh, and our team look at a wide range of options. Uh, we have consulted with uh, allies, we've consulted with Congress, uh, we've uh, been in conversations uh, with all the interested parties. and. Uh, in no event are we considering uh, any kind of military action that would involve boots on the ground, uh, that would involve a long-term campaign, uh, but we are looking at the possibility of a limited, uh, narrow uh, act that would help make sure that uh, not only Syria, but others around the world uh, understand that uh, the international community cares about maintaining this chemical weapons uh, ban and norm. Uh, but again, I repeat, uh, we're not considering any open-ended uh, commitment. We're not considering any boots on the ground approach. Uh, what we will do is consider uh, options that uh, meet the narrow concern around chemical weapons, uh, understanding that there's not going to be uh, a solely military solution to the underlying conflict and tragedy uh, that's taking place in Syria. Uh, and I will continue to consult closely with Congress uh, in addition to the release of the uh, unclassified document. Uh, we are providing a classified briefing to uh, congressional staffs today uh, and will offer uh, that same classified briefing uh, to members of Congress. Uh, as well as our international partners. And I will continue uh, to provide updates uh, to the American people as uh, we uh, get more information.